Yeah, I like the charge there. Uh, putting it in stealth pretty much just makes you take an additional three damage, so it's, it's not really a point to it. Yeah. But the top deck of the Clockwork Gnome from Strivko is going to allow him to grab the synergy off the Mech Warper right off the bat. Mm. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, right now I was also playing around like possible Glaive Zuka to follow it up. There's a reason why you coin out on turn two uh, if you don't have turn one plays. Okay, well. so, I mean, Desert Camel. Always, right? Does, and there's always a risk of your opponent getting a one drop in it. But, you know, right now, <laughs> realizing that not only does he not have a one man in minion, but Raynad also saw that Strifeco pulled the Kev injured Cavaldir, which is the best case scenario. That is the dream. I also did see Raynad did pull a, uh, oh. a Nixia, I believe. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good card, though. Like, the fact is, he could push out a lot of damage over a couple of turns. Uh, yeah, oh, no. he did lose a cl uh, the Clockwork. No, never mind. I thought he had two mechs on board. Oh, that that would have been insane. Yeah. But the Metal Torch Leaper here is like just the same as the, the Lance Carrier, I guess. But even one, it's, it's still pretty strong. And you get the discount on it, too, which allows you to... I don't know. Do you want to use the Brave Archer right off the bat? Probably the Cloak Field. Yeah, I like the Cloak the Field. Three. And then just put in a position where like Raynad has to address this. Push six, six damage. damage. So it's going to put Raynad down to one health. Yep. And he's going to need to pick up, like, a, a heal. Heal bot? Uh, heal bot, anything to help gain additional armor. Druid has access to those Oh, cards. that's true. We could see, like, bites and things like that right. as well. But the Brave Archer being the last card, that was exactly how Ben Brode designed it. Perfect. And looks like that is going to be it for game number oh, one. Yeah. That was quite an opening from Strive Crow. There's not much Rain I could have done in that situation. Uh, and that's one of the, the really cool things about Void Caller, which ultimately makes me a little sad. That the, the that the card is getting rotated into wild because I think one of those hidden informations is one of the coolest things about uh, the So uh, Raynad rolls the infamous two closion here. Um, luckily for him, it didn't matter too much, but um, still kind of unfortunate because that board presence was something yeah. that he'd definitely be looking for in this scenario here. I think he's kind of forced into dropping this arc mage. There's a lot of upside to the play. Oh yeah, because uh, if your opponent doesn't have the two damage, then you kind of just win the game. Oh yeah. This arc mage sticking Which, around is, is insane. But Rain had a tough loss, uh, losing a lot of chips there, down to 550 I believe, um, but you always have an option to come back. Um, it seemed like you were trying to get away with uh, minimal bets there. Uh, not as confident in this matchup as maybe you were in round number one. Uh, yeah, I mean, the mage deck was disgusting. I think the hunter was the only one I could realistically beat twice. Cause, uh, but yeah, it, it drew all the mech synergy and all the beast synergy in the same draw. And then <laughs> emptied its hand by turn five like I can't win. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well... Uh, Again, congratulations. Uh, I mean, you guys. Uh, so uh, this deck from Zalei seems like most of the hunter decks we've seen today. Uh, Desert Camel combined with uh, the uh, one drops for those sort of temple plays. King Crush off the first web spinner. The dream. The dream. Well, it's got a pretty good versatile amount of options with the uh, the coin. Chooses to coin to Desert Camel. Oh. The Cavaldi, the injured Cavaldir dream once again. Looks like that refill is going to come sooner than he thought. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Zalei is kind of enjoying it. He's trying really hard not to keel over in the laughter. And uh, Raynad doesn't exactly know what to respond with, so he's just going to attack in. And then uh, Raynad, of course, was like just playing the Belcher and killing out the Web Spinner to just make get the easy trade and force the really awkward scenario where Zalei can't really kill the... Uh, the the Belcher without trading on his own Shredder. Yeah, so if we think back to the draft, this deck from Rain it actually had a lot of tempo tools, if I remember correctly. It had a lot of early game spells to combo with Flame Wakers. Um, it pretty much topped out at like Whoa. the Bomb Lobber area because it was more aggressive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, this does mean that it's a pretty easy trade uh, for Zelay in terms of the damage. So Rain needs four damage off the top. Otherwise, Alay will end his tournament run. What's it going to be? The verdict is in. No, oh. not the right four damage. That's it. That is it. And it looks like Rain adds run. Flame here. strike the face. <laughs> uh, well, that's going to do it. Alay eliminates Rain Ad, takes his 550. And says GG. That's going to be our second player eliminated. And uh, Zelay also has a pretty significant stack hitting over 2,000. Yeah.
Congratulations, LA, uh, in that win. Um, what did you think about that? that? That final game was pretty pretty crazy. Uh, the deck seemed pretty nuts, actually. Uh, quite a few. Well, you got the King Crush off that first web spinner. <laughs> Helped a lot. Um, I don't know, Reyna, we, after you got the first Flame Lance on the King Crush, you know, I thought you might have been able to pull it back, but just being put on that uh, the Hunter clock, uh, just a little bit too much. I mean, yeah, a one-mana minion that makes a 9-9 nine -nine charge creature is uh, very reasonable <laughs> and in no way makes competitive Hearthstone look like a joke. So <laughs> pretty standard game of Hearthstone. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I feel robbed by any by anything, I, I think it was Strife Grows Hunter deck. Um, but this was, yeah, I mean, unfortunate web spinner outcome, and that's Hearthstone. Damn, they're calling you Beta Noodle because you wouldn't talk to Mitch. Just talk to him a little, man. Say hi. Let's do one combo. <laughs> okay, say hi. Say hi. Here we go. Hi. Hey, Mitch, you're the girl. Go. Hi. Fuck. 